Carlson a few weeks ago, May Arbach reviewed this That's album, right. was very excited about it, getting a lot of great press for her, her great songwriting ability and her, her unique voice. Please welcome us, if you will, Mary Carlson. All right. <laughs> Thanks for kicking things off. The name of the album is Yelling at Mary. I'd be lying 10 years from now. That's people are going to say that was her first big song was I'd be lying. Matty Arbach, I also another comment he made, uh, he, he reviews uh, albums and concerts and he was on about a month ago talking about this album and, and uh, one of the comments he made was do yourself a favor if, if you get a chance to see this woman check her out. Thank you. Oh sorry we haven't been hearing anything you've said. How, uh, uh, how uninteresting yeah. to listen to me. So anyway we're going to get a chance to talk later. And you guys are going to play again? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, all right. Now, if you notice that Karen Bryant, the, 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 yeah, one of the other hosts, yes. wasn't here watching. It's you, you heard. I know. She's, I know. She's not feeling No. Good. So we've, we've set up a television monitor in the bedroom for her. And uh, yeah, you want to come? Yeah. You got enough rope there? Let's unplug. Mary wants to come say hi, Karen. Oh, so we've Mary. set something up so that she can enjoy you guys in the whole show oh. without getting all of us sick because so many people are oh, sick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was great. That's such a good song. <laughs> yeah, this is pathetic. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, watch that. All right. Here are your tissues. Thanks. And, uh, can, I, can I bring you some tea? Sure. There's some more tea on the counter. There's a, a little pat on the oh, counter. Oh, listen to that voice. Sure, there's some more tea on the counter. Now, Karen does a thing here called New Releases where yes. an album like this comes up 
and right. she uh, talks about it. Right. So we, uh, yeah, we have a couple and of we'll new releases. Thanks. All right. Thanks. <laughs> you were great. Thank you. <laughs> really. Thanks. Mary cooked you up some. Oh, what a sweet I woman. Some chicken soup. I hear that's good oh, for you. Wow. Chicken Thank soup, you maybe. so much. Well, while these two lovely women get uh, everything <laughs> situated, let me tell you what's still coming on the show. Still to come, rock gossip. Nugent, and up next, we'll get a chance to visit with this lovely Mary Carlson. But right now, check out, isn't she? Our question of the night. Earlier, just moments ago, Mary Carlson kicked things off with a rousing rendition of I'd Be Lying. And I want to tell you, let me, I'll set things up for you. This is what happens during the day here at FX, at least in the sound effects show. Whoever's coming on our show, their, their music is playing all day long. Oh, really? And when it's in, at least in my, uh, my area, either one of three things happens. Somebody comes by and starts singing along, or they'll come by and say, Jeff, would you mind turn that down just a little bit? Or they come in and they say, <laughs> once in a while they come in and they say, who is this? That's what was happening all day long. All day long people go, who is this? And I said, Mary Carlson, what are you kidding me? Haven't you been watching sound effects? I've been telling you about this music. So now this, this album, uh, Yelling at Mary, uh -huh. nice title. Uh, Thank your, you. Your major label debut, but mm -hmm. you've, been, you've been singing, working on your songwriting for a long time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, about, uh, I've been doing the, the solo thing for about uh, four years now. So I was in another band before that in, in Florida for about um, uh, five years. And is it true that you actually got turned on to music in sort of a dishonest way? A little bit? You're not going to talk about Gilligan, are you? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Gilligan. That's exactly what I wanted she to talk in, about. She fell in love with John Denver's bangs. Yeah. <laughs> She learned it from a John Denver song. So a dishonest way, what did I do? No, I was talking about the story I'd heard Lying that you to lied get to get your oh, job. Oh, and yeah, well, yeah, kind of because, you know, you had to be uh, 16 to get a job. I wanted to get a job in this record store with my friend. So I had to lie and say that I was, uh, actually, I said I was 15 just because, you know, you could get a job at 15, but you can only work certain hours. So, yeah, I did. And what happened was it was music, it was a music store and you, so you, this whole new world yeah, opened up. basically, because at the time we, I was growing up, it wasn't, there wasn't a whole lot on radio. It was very close-minded. So when I started working at a record store, I discovered all these artists like, you know, Elvis Costello and, and, and Ricky Lee Jones and everybody. And I just went nuts and just started, you know, whipping open records and playing stuff and, and collecting them. And so it's a good lesson for young kids that white lies once in a while, sure, they're okay. I think so. <laughs> all right, let me, let me read something you said. Only this is something that nobody ever talks about, but it's so true in so many industries. Only do music if it's what you absolutely yeah. love, because there are so many sacrifices you're going to have yeah. to make. What sort of sacrifices? Oh, everything. <laughs> Just, I mean, give us some examples. What are some of the things you didn't think you'd uh, give up? Family, relationships, time, money. A dog. Dogs. You know, everything, because you're, you're constantly traveling. You make no money. Um, you know, we had all our gear stolen, all our guitars stolen when we were in New Mexico. You know, just, it's really hard. See, and, and that's, so uh, that's you a, you know, that's a, I think a, a misconception probably a lot of people have. You see a CD, mm. it's in the record stores, you guys are on TV, yeah. you're touring, you're, you're playing with great bands, and yet you sit here and say, you know, I, I, I'm, we're not making millions of dollars. Well, or, I, don't, I don't think we'll ever be on TV, though. <laughs> just ignore him, I'm sorry. <laughs> that we had to bring him, it was in the contract, so. Well, I... I so, I, I, okay. <laughs> All right. Sorry. So what, what I was just trying to say is if you don't love it, you know, it you're going to end up quitting and going home anyway. So just uh, you know, make sure it's really what you want to do. That's and along that lines, do, making sure it's really what you want to do, there are probably as many women right now oh, yeah. making a name for themselves in music as there ever have been. Yeah. But it's st is it still a guy's world? Is there still sexism? Well, you know, I was talking to someone else about this the other day because women all seem to get lumped together. You know, they get, they get, I get compared to Sheryl Crow and, you know, and I think that men never get compared to each other because mm. it's just like, oh, well, men doing rock, well, that's one thing. But, so, I don't know, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't Sometimes know. No, I think, I think you're know. right. I mean, when you read articles, you don't often hear, sounds a lot like Ted yeah. Nugent with a little bit of, right. it's just another, another yeah. rocker. It's like another. women who rock. Well, you know, how about Chinese who rock? You know, you right. don't hear that. Right, right, <laughs> right. That was my point. Though. Yeah, and a point well made. Now, you guys are going out with uh, the Charlie Sexton yes, Sextet, yes. Uh -huh. who we were fortunate to have oh, on cool. just, just uh, oh, yeah. two weeks ago or something. Great guys, really yeah. fun. Seemed like a really nice group of guys, cool. of people. Great. Yeah. In fact, that was one of the things we talked about during the interview is how humble yeah. they all were. Seriously. So, and uh, if folks want to, they can catch you if they're in the New York City area. They can catch you this Thursday mm -hmm. at uh, the Wetlands. Yes, mm -hmm. nine o'clock with um, Jack O. Pierce. Great. And you're going to stick around and, and uh, get into this TV thing. By the end, you may realize 
We actually are on TV live <laughs> right now. Wait, this is live? No one told me this was live. Oh, yeah. She's going to stick around and take care of Karen, actually. Okay. You know, All right. You want to give her the room. vapo rub. Yeah. <laughs> Get in line. All the way up it's eucalyptus. Well, Matt Ostrom, who is in line to give her the vapo rub, right now has right a... Here. I've got Mary. Mary, what do you think? Smash your trash. Um... You know, I heard that people from Iceland have six sniffles. <laughs> okay, I, let me I just tell you that this scientific poll, Smash or Trash, was brought to you by Butterfinger BBs. Karen? That's true. Uh, <laughs> thank you. You know, Mary is so smart and informational, too, isn't she? She's, well, she was talking about those things before the show started, too. I can say it. <laughs> well, she, she had to say it. Still to come on the program, we will find out why. Come on, one more time. Come on down, Jeff. Everybody gather around. We've got more music from Mary Carlson. <laughs> Tell me again, but I could not hear. And then you brought her around, and now I see everything all too clear. Don't think for a minute you can hurt me. I see a future, and on it seizes me. Hey, 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 this time will go by. You will never ever see me cry. And now for the secret I've been keeping. Gonna sneak out now while everybody's sleeping. Everybody's sleeping. Everybody's sleeping. And there are these things, and some call it friends. If we could talk all night till all talk ends, I could never see this before. I just look in your eyes and I pull you. Think for a minute you can hurt me. I see a picture and all it sees is me. Hey, hey, hey. Stare all night and never know I can never say this before I just look in your eyes and I told you Don't think for a minute you can hurt me I see a future and all it sees is me Hey, 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 this time will go by You will never ever see you me cry Now for the you secret I've been keeping Gonna sneak out now Welcome back to Sound FX. It's a sick Karen Bryant. We want to thank everybody for coming. Anita, Jim Bestman, of course, Matt's world. Right, Mike, uh, Mike Evans and Tim Rowe. All right, tomorrow night, Lauren Carson will be here. Oh, I hope you're feeling better. I hope so too. Right now, they're going to take us out. Our special thanks to Mary Carlson. The name of the album is Yelling at Mary. You've had a chance to hear almost three tunes. Now go out and buy it. All right, we'll see you tomorrow for Sound Effects. Yeah.